Man, I got man. I'm, 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 every time I ask, I'm, I'm gonna just keep asking. So you gotta go if you want. <laughs> let, 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 last question. Fire away. Last question. All right. <laughs> <laughs> this is just like a person. This is like personal taste, personal opinion question. Okay. B because we have a lot of young guys here, and I feel like some people, you know, might overvalue or or undervalue some of these guys. Who do you feel might be your top three? Let me see top four. Top four young assets on the Knicks right now. Who you feel like, you know what? All else fails. And this is a hard one, I know. All else fails, we got to keep these guys. Um, Yeah, obviously, RJ, you're going to hold on to. Oh, yes, one. RJ. Um, and I'm not, and I thought Knicks fans underestimated RJ coming into the, you know, coming into his rookie year. <clears throat> he proved them wrong, obviously. I think they overvalued him after his sophomore season. Um, you know, I don't think his ceiling is as high as some as some Knicks fans would like, you know, at, at they project it to be. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I think all-star, you know, I don't think he's an all-NBA, you know, like top 10 player in the NBA. Um, I think he can be, but I definitely think he can be an all-star. Um, you know, his, his lows aren't going to be that low. He's a mature professional. He right. can handle New York. Um, he gets it, plays hard you know, is willing to get after defensively, work on his game. You know, you, they heard, you know, you heard it today, he took 200 free throws. Was like, and he, and he's smart enough to know after he, the 46, you know, I should have had a 50 burger, um, um, you know, you know, all that other stuff. So, uh, yeah. So, so RJ, obviously he, he's a, he's a built foundational building block. Um, outside of that, I don't think there's, I don't think you have an untouchable guy on the roster. Um, I'd like to, I, I think I, the Knicks we should, Definitely look into moving Randall um, this off season. Interesting. Um, okay. Yeah, you know, obviously that'll be a point of contention. We'll, you know, you can talk about for months in June, July, August. My feeling is um, it's tough to come back from the thumbs down and the and the bad play and the and the lack of effort. All that stuff, kind of. You know, I think I think both he and the Knicks would benefit from a divorce right now. Um, I just don't know if he if he if it, if it's going to get much better. Even if he plays better, um, you know, is there some jealousy there when they when the crowd chants for Ob or when the I just it just doesn't seem like a great fit. You know, a great pairing. Um, I think the Knicks. You you could make an argument that they would be selling low coming off this disappointing season, but I think another team would value him enough. I mean, even in a bad year, the dude's close to twenty ten five. Right. I think he's a great player as a as a as a complimentary star as a as a second option on a on a next to a you know another John Morant or a, or a LeBron or one of these elite you know talents. I think as as a player that could would you know, I, but I think he kind of had a taste of what it's like to be the man in New York City, um, and anything less than that might might not fit. Um, so I, I'd explore trading him. Um, Obi ran, uh, Obi Toppin obviously has great upside. I don't think the Knicks have utilized him. That's a, that's another kind of Amen. knock against. Him. Um, so I don't. I wouldn't want to trade him because I think you're selling low. Um, I think mm -hmm. another shrewd, smart GM said he's being he's he's not properly valued by that franchise. Let me scoop him, put him with a solid coach that will get him up and down the floor, throw the ball in the air, he'll catch it, dunk it, you know, catch him on cuts and, and other things. I don't know why he's a nineteen percent three point shooter. He needs to improve that to be a solid NBA player. His form, his it, all that's too good. So he needs to work on that. That's on him. Um, but uh, again, uh, Grimes, I think, is a piece I wouldn't trade yeah. this off. Um, McBride, I think, is a piece you want to hold on to. Again, find out what you have. Jokovitis is a is a is a player that other teams are going to you know inquire about. Um, Knicks should hold on to him. Knicks have all their you know they have their draft assets kind of lined up. They own all their their first round picks. Have the Mavericks pick coming up. Um, but uh, yeah, I mean, listen, all th the Knicks should consider all trades. Um, you know, uh, you got to decide what to do with Mitch, et cetera. But outside of RJ and Grimes, I think uh, everybody could be had for the right price. Okay. I got, I got the sense it's RJ Grimes and OB from the, from the ciphering what you're talking about. That's the way I feel you're, you're going with, I think you're going RJ Grimes, OB. Yeah. I mean, th th there's, you know, um, I, I, am I missing anybody quickly? I would, quickly. I would, move, I would move for the right price. I think quickly is a good piece. I want him on my team. Um, but again, if you're asking me if there's anybody that I just, I, I he's off the table. Nah, I, I'd be happy to trade Reddish this summer. Um, if you can get some decent value in return. Um, and, um, you know, I, I think Obi can be a player that, you know, a good, uh, a, a, a very quality, you know, seventh player in the rotation, you know, second guard off the bench, play a little point, play some two, 
Right. Um, has moxie, has plays with confidence, plays hard, is not afraid to defend. Um, but again, there's, there's flaws in this game. You know, two years in, we can see that he's, you know, he's not a pure point guard. Um, and if he's not shooting, you know, in, in the low, you know, in around 40%, if he's not knocking down his three ball, um, we've seen a lot, you know, teams have taken away his kind of floater in the lane. So um, he's kind of been exposed a little bit this season. Um, and still, even his floor, if this is, you know, is, 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 is still a, a quality rotation player. Um, but again, um, anytime you have the opportunity um, to, uh, you know, to improve your team, uh, he's not a guy I would say, you know, he's off the table. Okay. All right. All right. I agree with all things said, especially the Obi thing, man. I feel like people kind of are falling off the Obi train, but I, I still feel like he hasn't been utilized correctly. Yeah. In the beginning yeah. of the season, ah. they was running a lot more pick and roll for him. And then towards this latter half of the season, it seems like he's that went away completely. And he's just been like I the corner shooter drafted, guy. I think they drafted Obi with the intention of him starting. I think they were planning on trading Randall they before that were. season. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, and so that's why they drafted him. I, I, I don't think they would have passed on Halliburton if they really thought Randall was going to be like that level of player. They would have probably taken him, but... They, they really were looking for their next power forward. They were putting that out all that summer. So I, I think it ended up Randall being so good that, you know, now you got two power forwards. Yeah, and we we have to make a move at a at certain point, man. I, actually, man, I, I'm kind of tight that the – man, that Halliburton thing kind of really grew me for a loop. I thought he was going to end up getting get, getting the Aaron Fox for sure. I was like, not for sure, but I thought, you know, that could happen for us. But maybe, you know, maybe not. Maybe not. Might be a Colin Sexton stuff, situation. Man. Right. right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. I don't know. Might be a Colin Sexton situation because we definitely need a point guard who can do something. All right. It could be Colin Sexton, Jalen Brunson. Who knows, man? Shoot. Exactly. Exactly, man. All right. All right. All right, fellas. All right. So, all right, Tommy Budweiser. All right, Tommy yeah. Beer in the building. You got to come back, man. You got to come back, Tommy. I'll be around. I'll be around. I got my, my my daughter's waiting for me to take her to the park right now. So right, um, I got right. All right. All right. But yo, definitely, Tommy has a newsletter out. Tommy has a newsletter out. So definitely, reg- definitely subscribe to his newsletter. You already know it's gonna be packed with the stats and the facts. So definitely go to what's on tap with Tommy Beer. It's TommyBeer.substack.com. I'm actually, I'm gonna put that in the in the chat so you guys can go. And, and to check that out and yo thanks thanks again tommy for for blessing us man appreciate it fellas be good take care stay safe and uh, i'll talk to you guys soon all right all right man take care take care Later, all right there it is gunshots for tommy all right salute 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 to tommy beer a lot of guys don't know that he was actually a guest on a, on the show before oh was he yeah yeah. yeah, back back in the day. <laughs> back in the oh, day. Back like back back in the day when y'all was in the room. Back in yeah. the day when we was in the in the in in, in Edson Sean's garage. Oh shit. yeah, if you yeah, you know him when, huh? Wow. Yeah, back in the day when we was at Edson Sean Edson's uh garage. Um, what was happening then? I just rewatched the episode today, actually. The 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 the. Um, Worldwide West and Leon Rose first got hired. And Tommy called and he called us and he talked to us and he was talking about um, giving his thoughts about Worldwide West and the hires. And we was kind of asking him, you know, what's the deal with this? Because usually it's an LOL Knicks thing when we hire somebody and everybody was just loving the, the Leon Rose hire and we couldn't understand why. <laughs> oh. And he was just kind of like, well, they CAA, so they, you know, they scared to. They're scared to criticize. <laughs> oh shoot! Oh shoot! Yeah, man, go oh, back. Shoot. Yeah, you can go back in the archives, and you can see that was in like February 2020 when he, when he called in. 